Welcome back to Just Scribble. I wanted to share my newest Bennu pens with you guys. I actually have four Bennu pens that I've acquired over the last couple of months, and I wanted to share them with you guys. Two of them, these two that have like the gray marking on the box, they are shop exclusives to some pen shops. And then the other two are non-shop exclusives, like they're available at different Bennu retailers and also on Bennu's site directly. Three of these are actually fountain pens and one is not. One is actually their rollerball pen. Two of these are from their Euphoria collection and two of them are from their Talisman collection. Those are my all time favorite collections from Bennu and pretty much the only collections that I buy from. And two of these I have inked and used since I've gotten them and the other two I have not actually inked up and used. One of them I just got. And so we're gonna do that together on this video. So I'm gonna start by Opening up the first one, let me scoot these out of the way. So this one is a shop exclusive. This is exclusive to Goulet Pens. This is a Bennu Euphoria and it is in their Iced Caramel Latte. And this was actually out of stock and I had signed up for restock notifications quite a while ago and then it restocked and so the moment that I got the restock notification, I went ahead and snagged one because I had been wanting one since it first released. So you know what, let me scoot these other boxes out of the way so hopefully the boxes don't take away from your visual but this is the euphoria in the iced caramel latte so it has this beautiful brown at the bottom that has a little bit of shimmer in it and then it has these beautiful gold flecks and it goes into a sort of milky coffee color and then some more gold flecks and then a lighter cream color I really love this pen. I think it is so pretty. It has less sparkle than some of my other Euphoria pens because I do have a bourbon and a vodka on the rocks and they are super, super sparkly. But I love the gold sparkle in here and I love the neutral colors of this pen. So I do have this pen inked. It is inked with White Rabbit from Wearing Goal. And we will do a little writing sample. So this one This one is a broad nib oh. and it's wearing cool white white rabbit so there you can see the ink with that pen. I really like this ink a lot and I thought it was a really good choice for this pen. It's not an exact match. This is a little bit warmer in tone than the ink, but I like them together and I think that it's a really pretty combo. So when this shop exclusive was launched, I think it was in October with Goulet, they did launch actually three. They launched a cookies and cream milkshake, which was like a white pen with some specks on it. They launched a rainbow slushy, which was crazy rainbow sparkly. And then they launched this one. I actually really want the milkshake one as well. And so I'll probably at some point snag that if it is available when I am ready. But I wanted to get this one first because this is the one that I was most drawn to of the three exclusives from Goulet. So that is my Euphoria Iced Caramel Latte. And then the next one that we have is my other Euphoria, my other new Euphoria, because I do have several of these pens. And this one is called Caviar. Let me turn it this way. And I was so smitten with this pen ever since they first launched it. I thought really hard about whether I wanted to get one as a fountain pen. I love the dark gray. I love the holographic flex. This pen is just so classy and so pretty, but with a little bit of zing, I just absolutely love it. And I almost bought it in a fountain pen, but I kept holding off 
And then I saw that they actually make rollerball options for Bennu pens. They are a little bit hard to find outside of shopping their site directly, and that's actually how I bought this one. But there are some shops that do carry their rollerball pens. But I decided to buy this one in a rollerball. And so it's a non-fountain pen for all of you non-fountain pen lovers. I love fountain pens, but I also like writing with gel pens and other pens, especially in my planner. And so I wanted to get a roller ball that I could use in my planners. And what I did was I actually took out the ink that it came with and I put in a Pentel inner gel refill in it. And so this is a Pentel inner gel refill that I stuck in there. It's not a perfect fit. Like it's not designed to fit in this pen, but it works just fine. There's a spring in the back, which is down on the spring just right. And it writes beautifully. Like I've had no issues with it whatsoever. So this is the Bennu Euphoria caviar and this is not a shop exclusive this pen is available in a fountain pen as well from a lot of different shops and it is their roller ball pen with inner gel refill i'm pretty sure that the refill is a 0 0.4 or a 0 0.38 because i think those are the only refills that i have so it's got a very fine tip to it. That is my caviar. And then the next two pens are pens that I haven't actually inked up yet. So we're going to start with this one, which is a non-shop exclusive. Actually, I lied. I mean, not intentionally. I actually do think this is a shop exclusive as well. I bought this from Gold Spot Pens, and I actually think this was limited edition for like the Christmas time or the winter time. This is a talisman, and I think it actually is a Gold Spot Pen exclusive. So I apologize for misspeaking on that. This is their Ice and Snow. And I love winter and I love snowflakes. Winter, winter is my favorite season. I have things I love about all seasons, but winter is my all time favorite season. To me, it's very magical and I absolutely love snow and ice. And so this pen was speaking to me and I had to buy it. It has little pieces of glitter that are snowflakes and then non snowflake pieces and circle pieces. And it has this sparkly white tip and then it goes into the bright blue and then to the sparkly white. And I absolutely love it. This one I actually got in a fine nib. So this is a fine nib. And I don't remember when I bought it if I got a fine nib just because that's what was available or if I picked a fine nib because I kind of pick all different nib sizes for these pens. Their fountain pens do come with a cartridge and then also a converter. I'm gonna be using the converter. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the pen. And it just sticks in there and then you just screw the back of the pen on and it's good to go hold on someone is at my door okay sorry someone came to my door so i had to get the door when you get your products from Bennu, they do come with a product information and lifetime warranty that's in all of these boxes. So each of the boxes has that in there. But this pen actually came with a little write-up, which they do with some of their special pens, where they talk about the inspiration for the pen and what this pen is supposed to mean. So the inspiration and substance added to this pen is snow quartz, and it's supposed to give you good luck in new endeavors. And then it has like a write-up about it. So there's a little write-up in there. And then this is my pen. So I was trying to decide what ink I was going to ink this up with. And I was looking at some pen inks that I had swatched recently. And I was thinking that the wing from the Laughing Kookaburra from Van Diemen's is like the perfect color. That is the ink that we are going to use for this pen. So this is the ink that we're gonna be using. And I did get this ink sample from Van Diemen's. I have a video on this entire collection, their Birds of a Feather collection. I love this collection. Definitely check out that video if you're interested in seeing more, but I think this is a perfect color for this pen. 
So I'm going to, normally I actually just fill directly into the converter. I don't actually fill into the nib and I'm probably gonna get this all over this pen. But for this video, I'm just going to fill directly from the sample. So now we have ink in the converter and it's already in the feed and the nib since I filled it that way. Let me grab my little shirt that I use for ink. Wipe off the edges and the excess. And then screw the bottom back on. And we'll do a little writing sample for this one. My kiddo is singing in the other room, so I apologize if it's distracting. He's been practicing for theater and watching a bunch of musicals, so he keeps like belting out to song. So this one is a fine nib, and it's Van Demons. Laughing. Kuka Burra, and it's the wing. The way this collection works is there's several birds in the collection, and then the ink colors are based on parts of those birds. So like for the Laughing Kookaburra, there are three different inks that are Laughing Kookaburra, one of which is the wing. So there we have that sample of writing with this pen, and I think that is the most perfect ink for this pen, and I really like it, so I'm probably gonna have to buy a whole bottle of it. So that's that one. And then this is the last one. It's the one that I got most recently. This was a shop exclusive for Gourmet Pens, and this is their True Unicorn, and I'm really excited about it. It is also a talisman. And just like the others, it does come with your cartridge. The converter is already in there. And then it comes with your product warranty. It has a little write-up with the name of the pen, which is True Unicorn, and that it was made exclusively for gourmet pens. And then it has the inspiration and then the myth. And so the substance added to the material of the pen is True Unicorn. And the myth is protection against evil. And then it has a whole write-up. So I love unicorns. I collected unicorns as a child. I've always loved unicorns. And when I saw this pen and the amount of sparkle that it has, which I love, and the colors that it has that gave me all of the Lisa Frank vibes and the fact that it was a unicorn, I had to buy it. And I was so excited to snag it. Now, I don't know if there's any more of these pens available, but when I did talk to the shop owner, she had indicated that they were going to restock them. So if they're not available, you might still be able to get one. But look at this oh. oh it's perfect so the rainbow slushy that Goulet pens has or that they came out with in october it's really sparkly but it's a euphoria and not a talisman and it's rainbow which isn't as much my thing it was pretty but it wasn't pretty enough but when i saw this pen i knew this was the pen for me and i'm so excited for it so it has this magenta hot pink at the bottom and then it goes into purple and blue and then teal in the center and then back to the purple and blue to the magenta and then it has all of this sparkle it's so sparkly it's so pretty and I'm so in love with it I did order this one in abroad so Although these pens are the same pen in the same size, this one is a fine and this one is a broad, but they look so cute together too. And just for reference, this is the size difference between the Euphoria and the Talisman. The Talisman is a smaller pen. I find the Euphoria pen very comfortable to write with, especially for long journaling sessions, but I do have larger hands for a girl. So if you have smaller hands, the Talisman is probably a better fit. But to me, they are both very comfortable and very manageable size pens. They're very nice to write with. I just really like them. And I like that they have clips on them so they don't roll off your desk. I just love everything about them. So this is my newest Bennu that I just got. And I think it's gorgeous. So I actually just did a video from 
Vanessa Pens, an ink swatch video. And I had swatched a whole bunch of inks and I talked about an ink that I bought from Ferris Wool Press, this one, which is Grape Ice Pop. And this is the ink that I actually bought to use in this pen. And when I was doing my swatching, I thought I might've made a mistake and maybe this double raspberry was a better color. And I actually don't think that the double raspberry is a better color for it. I mean, it's brighter and this pen is very sparkly and bright, but it's actually not the right color for this pen. If and when I get pink eraser, I may actually put that color in this pen because I think that would look really pretty. If I bought this Morian, or actually I was more in love with this New Hope Crown, I could put those in this pen. But I actually think that the Grape Ice Pop is a really perfect color for this pen. It's a nice deep purple. It matches the colors right here in the pen. I like that it's a little bit darker, so it'll be really pretty to journal with, but it's not black. So that's actually what we're going to put in this pen. So let me flip back to the page we were swatching on. And let me open up this bottle. And once again, I am going to fill it with the converter attached. Just gonna stick the pen in there. Grab my little shirt. Recap it. Wipe off any excess around the edges. Put the back back on. And you can post these pens. I don't know if they're actually intended to be posted, but you can, the, the cap stays on, but I don't generally post my pens. It's just not how, just not how I roll, but I think you can, I mean, it works. I've never had issues with it when I do post. It's just rare that I post. There's the writing sample for this pen. Ooh, crap. I just rolled my pen through my ink. Not a great writing sample now. Sorry about that because it was still wet, but you get the idea. So there is my really messy now writing sample with this pen, but you can see the difference between the fine and the broad there. And I think it looks beautiful with my pen. Smears and smudges and all. But that's my share with you guys. I just wanted to share my four newest Bennu pens with you. I don't know if anyone knows that they actually carry non-fountain pens, but I have been loving this pen and using it a ton. So I will definitely be adding another rollerball of their pens to my collection. I like having a fancier outside for my gel pen nibs. And so I'm really excited to have that. And then of course I love their fountain pens. I love journaling with them and I love matching some fun ink colors to them just to make my journaling experience more fun and more special. But that is my share of my two new Talisman and two new Euphoria pens from Bennu. If you have any questions about anything I shared in this video, please don't hesitate to comment below. I will definitely get back with you. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this share of my newest Bennu pens. Click that subscribe button so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.